Hey everybody, I am here again to just do a quick video um, of what has been like my life changing experience of my past video I did about a week or two weeks ago about going from the iPhone 10 I used to have to this S10 uh, Galaxy phone. And I just want to start off by saying I love it. Um, there's a few things I don't like about it, but there's a lot of things that I do uh, love about it. And um, it's just been an all in all awesome phone. Uh, just different things you could do with it, things I'm learning with it. Um, the, the productivity of it, it's just, it's just really, um, really sweet phone. And I just wanted to jump on here to give you a little bit of an insight of what it's been like using it. Um, and maybe some other things that people have been thinking about doing and maybe some new, uh, flagship products that are coming out that you might see that you might want to wait for. So with this S10, I mean, this thing, battery life is pretty good. It has like a 34 um, mAh, whatever they call, right? It's a, it's some kind of a battery in there. I don't know what it is, but it's a battery that works and it works pretty good. Work better than my iPhone. Um, it comes with uh, eight gigs of, of RAM. So multitasking and stuff like that is really smooth. Um, picture qualities are gorgeous uh, besides some of the night, night shots and you know maybe like the zoom isn't really as good as Apple is but the normal camera the wide the wide uh, lens is pretty good um, you can see some of my pictures on Facebook that I, I did um, and even though people have been giving me a rough time about it uh, about my pictures and saying you know your family is very important and those are important memories you shouldn't be taking pictures with pretty much a crappy phone. And uh, you know who that, you know who you are, who said that. Uh, you know, it, it's fun. It's funny watching that. Um, I love all the comments, um, especially the people that are, are, are busting my chops about it because they know how much of an Apple guy I am, how much I love it. And um, it's just funny to see those kind of comments on there. And I love them. Keep them coming. But... Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, things that I, I don't really care for, I can tell you is uh, the scrolling of obviously is, is, is kind of annoying. Um, the notifications sometimes, if you guys can help me, if there's anybody out there that knows how to, to turn this off, please let me know because sometimes I can't stand it and I don't even want to use my phone. But if you're on the phone and just say you're watching a video or whatever, you get a notification, somebody texts you or email, and it'll, it'll plop down like a little icon with like whatever that is. If it's a message, it has the M and, or whatever name. And it'll just sit there and just be there. If you're watching a video or anything, it'll just sit there and just look at you. And you have to click on it to pop it open to another screen. Or you can push down on it and move it to a little uh, garbage box to remove. And every time something comes in, it keeps doing that. I don't know how to turn it off. So anybody out there that's a, a, a Galaxy Android person that knows how to do it, um, put it down in the comments, help me out. Because that's one thing I cannot stand is that. And um, I really want to learn how to ter turn that off. So um, please help me. Uh, anyways, the um, other thing that I guess would, would be missed from my iPhone is obviously being able to use my phone messages, iMessages with all my all my products that I have for Apple, especially my iWatch. Um, I really miss using that um, as a as a addition accessory to my phone, but I still wear it. Uh, I just use it as a watch now, regular watch. Um, so all in all, this phone's been has been great. I really enjoy it. I don't know if anybody's gotten one yet. Um, after watching my first video, if you have, um, write a comment in there and let me know what you think about it or if you've seen it. Uh, if you touched one or anything like that, just write a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, maybe I can help you make your decision um, a little easier. But the only thing is a little easier. I say that. But then you look online and you see maybe possibly the next iPhone coming out, right? Check that out. So this is possibly the next iPhone coming out. I've seen pictures like this before um, online before the, even this S10 came out, before the X uh, Max, you know, XS, X, X, whatever. 
iPhone XS Max, there you go, came out. And, you know, we, everybody thought there's going to be bezel-less and stuff like that, and, and it wasn't. But in September, that phone might be coming out. And if they do, Samsung, sorry, watch out. This guy might be going back to Apple. But it's been, it's been real, Samsung. But we'll see. That's, I'm just saying we'll see. Um, but what Samsung's done recently with the Galaxy line um, has really changed the game. And if anybody has seen the Galaxy Fold recently, um, or the, another company is called uh, like Hawaii. I, I call it Hawaii. I really don't know the name of the company. But they actually made phones that fold. So just imagine this phone right here, but you're going to have two of them back to back. And it's going to open up and it's going to look like a mini iPad by the time you open it up. Pretty sweet. A lot of people had issues with them already, but it's a plastic screen on si inside. You're going to see a little crease. Um, some people had some problems with the pictures already. They started peeling off the protective uh, screen thinking it was like a little uh, temporary screensaver and they just ruined the whole phone. It's a $2,000 phone. I suggest not doing that. Um, I suggest not giving it to your kids either because um, this is one product that's going to break pretty easy if the kid drops it. Um, but anyways, why, why I talk about that is because Samsung's really stepped up their game in innovation with different technology and different things in, in the world. You know, iPhone, iPhone's phones have been the same past couple of years. I mean, a couple of different tweaks and stuff like that. And which I get, people are like, you know, oh, it takes Apple a couple of years to uh, come out with what Samsung's already done. I understand that, but the, the, the big thing I really appreciate with Apple is they do it right. And it does take a little bit more time, but guess what? When that product does come out, it is perfect and it's done right. So I really um, appreciate Apple for doing that, but I really appreciate Samsung for coming up with the idea of certain things that give other people uh, the possibility to make it better. And once you see the Samsung, the, the Galaxy Fold, you're gonna understand like this is a game changer. Like this is uh, something you've never seen, for one. For two, it's gonna open up your eyes to different possibilities for other companies to do the same thing. Cause like who remembers when like the, the iPods came out, right? I mean, this, this iPod isn't the first one that came out, but it's the one that had the colored screen and whatever. So YouTube, YouTube signed it. Yeah. YouTube, um, YouTube, did I say YouTube? You too. Sorry. Um, you can tell I didn't really listen to YouTube. Anyways, when that first came out, People were going crazy. Then who remembered when the first iPhone came out? This is the second generation. The first one had like the black and gray background in the back. But this thing was monumental when this thing came out, right? Everybody had to have it. People that you've seen had it. They're like, you know, you get drawn to them to see what it was because it was something new. And then, you know, time goes long and they, they revolve, right? They get the, the square and stuff like that, the generation four. Generation, you know, the fifth generation, six, seven, blah, blah, blah. But as, as time went with Apple, like, yeah, it, it got different designs and everything. Like when the home button was the fingerprint scanner, then no home button. But like, it's been like the same user face, iPhone, iPhone type stuff. Same with Galaxy. They've had the same, you know, Galaxy S5s, 9s, 10, whatever it is. When they came out with the 10, it was a little bit better because of, almost a full screen display. But now with this Galaxy Fold, it's just been um, pretty amazing to watch and amazing to see this this product. So that's where I feel like when Apple started, when they first launched the, the iPhone, is where Samsung is going to be now when they first launch this Galaxy Fold. And obviously there's gonna be things that are gonna go wrong with it, things gonna be fixed, but I think they really set the tone for the future for phones, tablets. It's going to be called a a, a phablet, a fat fatlet, fat phablet or something like you know, tablet phone mushed together. Um, but anyways, all in all, this couple weeks with this phone have have been really good. I've been really pleased with it, really impressed with it. Anybody that's gotten one, please put it in the comments. What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? If there's anybody that can help me with that annoying notification, please let me know. 
Um, I'll give you a big high five when I see you. But uh, I just wanted to share that video with you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And um, that's it. Have a good night. Bye.